Boom, look at that. That's solid. All right, let's do this. Holy mother! Alrighty guys, so tonight we're gonna be trying out the Ben & Jerry's Peanut Butter & Cookies non-dairy ice cream for everybody tonight. This is made with almond milk, uh, vanilla with chocolate, sandwich cookies, and crunchy peanut butter swirls. Everybody, I'm a peanut butter aficionado. I love my peanut butter. I also love my ice cream as well. It is a live stream night, so that being said, we're gonna try this out on the live stream. See you guys in a little bit. And here we are about to try out the Ben & Jerry's peanut butter and cookies non-dairy ice cream for the live stream. Checking out the video, checking out the live stream taste test that we're about to do. So let's get to it. Yep, my teeth are gonna hate me, but oh well. Boom, look at that. That's solid. Solid, solid, solid. Now before I get to this, I definitely wanna say that I've always been a fan of uh, anything peanut butter. Like I said, I'm a huge peanut butter aficionado, and so this has peanut butter swirls in it. I'm going to be very disappointed if the peanut butter is not prevalent in this. So, let's get to the taste test. All right, let's do this. Holy mother shit balls! Woo! Damn! Jesus God, that's amazing. Wow. All right, this is uh, this is about to get serious right here. That's what it looks like on the inside. Right there. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. So, right off the bat, this tastes absolutely amazing. I mean, it sounds like a really horrible review right there, but uh, there's a lot going on here, peanut butter wise. That's the first thing that I got with this, is a huge burst of peanut butter flavor. You can actually see a peanut butter chunk right on top right there. There is that little swirl of goodness. Absolutely mind blowing. Like I said, right off the bat, the peanut butter swirl is huge, it's prevalent. Um, then after that, you get these cookie chunks, essentially, um, with a nice, I guess it, it, the, the base of this is what is making me like, really like this ice cream a lot. Um, it's, it's almost like it's, it's airy in a way. It's like an airy whipped, uh, texture to it, which is amazing. I actually prefer that over just like a standard vanilla base. Base is really, really good. And then here's an actual cookie chunk. This is what one of the pieces looks like. Wow, that's almost like a fudge brownie type of, um, it says chocolate sandwich cookies, but that definitely tastes like a like a fudge chocolate or a chocolate brownie something. Um, that is, oh my God. That's hard to believe that that's not milk chocolate because it tastes almost literally like milk chocolate. So as you guys can tell, the flavor for me is gonna get a 10 out of 10 with this one. Overall texture on this is gonna get a 10 out of 10 for me as well. Now, we talk about the nutrition on this. A very big misconception about these um, uh, vegan non-dairy ice creams is that they are uh, macro friendly and this is gonna be uh, not macro friendly, I guess you could say it's gonna have the same exact, in my opinion, calories and uh, carbs, protein, fat as your typical ice cream. Uh, so we're clocking in this one at 290 calories, 17 grams of fat, um, eight gram saturated fat. Oh no, saturated fat. <laughs> uh, after that, we had 31 grams of carbs, 22 grams of sugar, four grams of protein for those gains. I mean, honestly though, it's totally worth it. This is an absolutely amazing tasting uh, pint of ice cream. Bottom line, everybody, is that if you love peanut butter and you love ice cream, go run to the store right now. Go to that frozen section and pick one of these up. You gotta do it right away. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you haven't already, feel free to follow me on my social media. Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. You know the drill. Thanks again for watching the video, guys, and go ride a bike.
Vegeta. What does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000! What 9,000? Uh, 